So we just learned how we can use Blender to make this type of wavy pattern and how we can place it on top of a texture that we have externally, which was this gradient. That was a previous video. Check that out. Now we have to take some stickers and we have to apply it to this table. But the problem is we have to make those stickers centered. We have to make them perfectly aligned. Okay, we're going to have to have six stickers which are going to together form a perfect pyramid, right? Because this is going to be a beer pong table. I'm doing this for one of my clients. So these stickers are going to have to mark the place where you put the cup on the beer pong table so you can play beer pong with your enemies, right? So we're going to have to be very accurate with how we place these. It's going to have to be exactly in the middle. They're going to have to be stacked like this. Now, here's the problem. Right now, I only have an image which I applied in my with a node the image texture right here connected to base color. It's just this texture and then I use my UV map to pick which part of the picture I want this to be on. I don't have a baked image. I don't have an image which is shaped like a surface. I'm not going to do any of that, all right? If I go down the route of texture painting, as you know, Blender doesn't have very good alignment tools, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to align it to make it perfectly centered or any of this, okay? So we're going to use our UV map over here for these two faces which have this material applied to them. We're going to UV map. We're going to use the UV map here to decide where the middle is and based on that middle we're going to be able to, to apply the, the decals all right so i'm using paint net right now i have this sticker loaded transparent background just a circular round sticker and the idea is i want to place these on top of this image like this i want to make this sticker a little bit smaller i want to place it like this i want to have one more like this one more like this except they're going to be smaller and they're going to be stacked and all this stuff all right now the problem is like i said we can't really align this but the other thing, which is a bigger problem, is I can't see which part of the table I'm talking about here. If you look at my UV map, it's only covering the right side. This is not on the table. So I can't just put it in the center of the image, all right? The way to do this is that I can export this UV map from Blender into my paint net here, and I can use that as a measuring tool, all right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. I can take these faces that I have on top of these objects here, all right? I'll just select both of these surfaces in edit mode. I'll put a loop cut here, I'll put a loop cut here, here and here as well. And now I just have to run one edge across this surface so that this edge is going to appear in my UV map, all right? So I can just join this. Now we have an edge, so these are now two faces. They're cut down the middle. And we're gonna have the same thing happening over here. So we're gonna take these two opposite edges or vertices, we're gonna join them with J. Now this is what our UV map looks like. Now we almost have a checker pattern, all right? You see what I'm talking about? There's an edge marking exactly where the middle of the table is, all right? And we can go here, we can select this. We can take this, uh, these three buttons right here, UVs, export UV layout, and I can just say that to somewhere, pictures, whatever, UV map table, whatever. So I can export that UV layout. And if I go to paint net, I can open up a new image and I can open this UV UV map for the table. This is exactly what we saw in Blender. I can just copy this, add a new layer on top of this a texture that I have, paste that, and this shows me exactly which part of the table uh, I'm looking at, all right? So now I can just take this sticker, I can add a new layer on top, I'll paste the sticker, and I'll just bring it somewhere to the middle. I want to make it, maybe I'll change the size later. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'll take this sticker, I'll scale it down, and I'll just align it perfectly with this line. You can also use your grid, because paint net doesn't work with vectors. You don't really have perfect alignment tools. This is like a fucking Stone Age free, uh, free tool, but it works really well. You just have to line it with this line. Maybe you're going to move it left and right with your arrows just to make sure it's centered, more or less. It doesn't have to be perfect. No one's going to notice one pixel left and right, especially when they're fucked up playing beer pong. And now we just have to take this sticker, Control c Control v and we're going to hold Control and shift it to the right. And we're gonna count how many times we did that, right? So we're gonna shift it by, so Control-C, Control-V, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 times, right? And now it's moved to the right and it's not interfering anymore. And we can do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? Perfect. And now just do the same thing at the top Maybe we're going to take the middle one just to make sure that we go from that one. All right. We're going to select this. Control C. We don't want to select it too far below because then it's going to go over and it's going to delete whatever is underneath. So we're going to select this sticker. You can even add it to a new layer. Control C, Control V. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is this time is fine. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
All right, this seems to work well. You can also line it a little bit more accurately if you want to. Control C, Control V, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we can just take the one from the bottom again so we don't have to line the top ones. Take this again, Control C, Control V. How far was this? We counted how many times? Was it 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's perfect. Now we have a beautiful pyramid with our logo where we can place the cups, all right? I'm still gonna add some more shit to this design. So this is gonna look really good, but now if I just take this image, I flatten it, I save it, all I have to do is refresh this in my uh, image texture node. It's gonna be waves two, right? And now this appears on my table, all right? So now, next time, next time somebody's gonna use this table at a party, now they know exactly where to place this cup, they're gonna be like, oh, they're so well aligned, they're perfect. You might wanna measure this in relax, you know, the centimeters, all right? I'm still gonna to have to do this off camera to make it a little bit more precise, to make sure the cups don't collide or anything, so you can place them evenly. And I'm gonna add more shit, like a company logo here, and some, maybe some text and some other bullshit designs or something to make this look cooler. But this is how I would add decals to my texture, all right? Uh, let me know what you guys wanna see next in the comments, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.